Welcome back to Match Week as we continue our special edition from the brand new training grounds here in Marietta. I am joined by Director of Soccer Operations, Paul McDonough, and he's going to take us through the facility and give us all the inside access where the team stays each and every day. Paul, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks. It's great to be here. All right, so let's get right to it. We're here in the weight room. Yep. So this is where the players do their weights, they're running, they're training. So um, give us a little inside access into what goes on here. Yeah, with everything with the players, we wanted to try to make it feel like a home away from home. So the players can come in, they can get uh, treatment, which is right next door. And then they can do all their pre-activation in this beautiful new gym. Uh, behind us, we have an electronic door that'll open up to a turf area outside so they can do their pre-activation outside. Uh, so we have an indoor, outdoor uh, warm-up area. And we're looking around um, here, and we obviously see, you know, some workout machines, weights, things like that. We have a very cool machine over here as well. Tell us a little bit about that, because I'm absolutely interested in this. Yeah, one of the things we did when we were thinking about rehab, we got a, a machine. It's called an Alter G. Uh, it's an anti-gravity runner, so we can do rehab for guys that um, have ankle injuries, knee injuries. And what it is is almost... Um, they get in it and the air will make it almost like they're running um, with specific gravity, so like they're running on the moon. All right, let's talk about the dressing rooms. Tell us a little yeah. bit about the locker rooms and what those are like. The facility houses our academy and our first team, and we have locker rooms for each academy team and our first team. Uh, our first team uh, space is right next door. Uh, it's the center of the building, and it was really important for us to to really make that the focal point of the building and this whole wing now becomes area for the first team. Okay, and one of the other phenomenal marks of this facility is it has a double pitch. So you have dual pitch outside, tell us yep. a little bit about that. Yeah, so the two pitches right out here, there are first team pitches and we have a goalkeeper warm up area. So everything in the front focal point of our facility is our first team. So all the glass, guys working out, guys getting treatment, all the staff can see what's going on with the first team. So Tata loves to have two grass fields, so he's got it right out the front door. And how do the players feel? I mean, they were transitioning for a little while. They were at the Falcons training facility yep. in the beginning, and now finally their home is open, and this is really a home away from home for them. Yeah, we tried to keep the guys away as much as possible, uh, so we went to Flowery Branch. But um, now that they're here, they love it. Talking to the guys in and around the league, there's nothing like it in the MLS. Talking to Joseph yesterday, you know, he just came from Italy. Nothing like it when he's in his experiences in Europe. So really, the guys are really excited to be here. You mentioned Major League Soccer. Uh, standing here and seeing this, this training grounds, you are really setting the bar extremely high for not only expansion teams, but teams across the board. Yeah, it was really important for us to get a really good facility that would set the bar. Um, and we think it has set the bar. We've already had... Um, Two teams, so Chicago and New York Red Bulls, have already been on site and have trained here uh, prior to our matches. So we will open it up to all the visiting teams that want to come here and train. And what is some of the response that you're getting from other other teams, maybe other managers that are? We've heard from players that got contacted by players on the other teams that said that it was an unbelievable facility and they couldn't believe that how fortunate the players that were playing here were to be able to have it. Um, so I think the response has been really good from the visiting teams. They're going to be very jealous of this facility when they, when they come here and see it. You mentioned the academy. Let's talk a little bit about that. Um, they're able to come here as well, and this is really a good opportunity for you to host teams from other countries as well. Yeah, so our academy is housed here. Um, all the academy staff, they have offices downstairs. The first team staff, um, they mirror each other, and we have locker rooms for all the academies. But it is something that hosting events and international teams is something that we really want to open this facility up to teams that are looking for training camps, um, hosting youth events, things like that. Now, when you walk into this facility from the front, it's a beautiful lobby. Everything's really open. What is it like for the staff being here? You know, it's, everything's glass. Everything's nice and open. The sunshine coming in. What is it like working here every day? I think they're really impressed with just the facility, the, you know, everything down to the furniture, the uh, the finishes in this place, you know, the views onto the field, seeing Tata and all the first team players around every day, it's really important and they really like it. What are some of the other areas aside from that um, that you, do you think are important to highlight? It's very high tech. There's more TVs in this place. I think we have over 50 TVs. Um, that we noticed. <laughs> so there's, there's TVs everywhere. Uh, security was very um, important for us. So we have a high security 
measures at the facility, and um, the dining area is great. We have chefs in every day, so the guys will come in and they'll have a meal before uh, and post-practice. Our strength and conditioning coach, Ryan, um, is able to set the meals for the guys so we can give them good nutrition, which is really important for us, and then it's really important that we can teach the academy players about proper nutrition and building meals and things like that. And what are some of the main things that you'd want viewers to know? Obviously, things that we can see with the naked eye, the dual pitch, the wonderful weight room, the impressive dressing rooms. What else do you want people to know that's unique about this, this facility? I think, I think the biggest thing was is Arthur gave Darren the, the go-ahead to build a state-of-the-art facility that no one else has. Um, and he trusted us to, to do it properly. And I think we put a lot of time and care into thinking about the club as a whole. Um, and this is something that I think, you know, everyone can be really proud of. Well, this is very impressive. And thank you so much for taking the time to show us through. And we appreciate it.